Hi everyone, I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs and lots of you already know me as Glenda the Good Stitch. In this series called What I Didn't Know But Wish I Had when I'm drawing off my patterns, I would like to talk about placing the waist fitting dart and how to draw it on the bodice front, on the skirt front. This is a hip fitting dart, but this dart needs to align with this dart. And of course, what I'm going to show you, this little tip, is going to apply to the bodice back and the skirt back. All right, so let's get going. When you're drawing off your bodice front, I have already gone ahead and drawn the majority of it, right? And for those of you who are new, this is the Surefoot Designs Master Pattern. And all you do is take your unique bust measurement number, whatever that circumference is, and you start plotting it in around at the relevant points and connecting your dots together. Now, again, for those of you who are new, I'm working out of the Surefoot Designs dress kit. So, when you get into the instruction book, on page 8, step number 9b, it talks about putting in this waist fitting dart underneath your apex marking. In order to do that really conveniently, we have this template. Again, this template is included inside the Surefit Designs dress kit. And on this template, there are four different darts. The first one says, front, uh, excuse me, bodice front dart. And that's where I am working is on the bodice front. And that's this dart right here. Now this dart needs to align directly underneath your apex like this. But when you put the template onto the pattern and it's real easy for that template to slip slightly one direction or the other. And if you were to take a line straight down through the tip of the dart, down through the center of the widest part of the dart, that line needs to be totally parallel to the center front. So we're going to put a line there. Now, again, you know that I draw in these um, a pens to be, so that you can see everything that I'm doing. But this particular line that you're going to draw is going to be done in pencil. All right. In fact, everything that you draw is going to be done in pencil. I only draw in the pen so that you can see what I'm doing. So now the tool that you're going to need is the line drafter. And you take this and you put the edge of the line drafter on your apex like that. And then make sure that wherever you're lining up with the dominant lines on the line drafter, is totally parallel to your center front. And in this case, the apex width is four inches, so I'm just going to draw a line, very faint pencil line coming straight down. Now, I've made this line just a little bit darker so that you can see it on camera, but at home you want a very faint pencil line. And then you take this template and you're going to put the arrowhead of the template on your apex. And this is so much easier done if I was on a table. And of course, you are all going to be working on your table at home. So the arrowhead has gone right directly against your cross mark for your apex. And then you draw in the tip of your dart. Yours will be much more distinctive than the fat nib that's on this pen. And then what you need to do is take the blue waist guideline on the template, shift it up until it lines up with the waist guideline on the master pattern, all the while keeping the center of the dart right on that faint pencil line that you drew. Then you draw in the tail of the dart. So when you take that away, you now connect together the tip to the tail end of the dart like this. And that gives you the correct length of dart underneath your apex. OK, so now you've seen it done on the bodice. We're going to do that one more time on the skirt front. Again, taking your pencil, we're going to 
come over four inches away. And in fact, let me just pull this away for a moment. Here you're going to see a series of dots and it says use your half apex to apex measurement. The reason that you use your half apex width measurement is because when you line up your skirt underneath your bodice, you're going to want this dart lined up directly underneath that dart. So again, in comes the line drafter. I'm lining up my four inch marking directly on the center front of the pattern and you're going to make a very light pencil line going up like that. It needs to be totally parallel. I feel like I slipped there, but it's correct. Okay, so a totally parallel line to the center front. Then we're going to take this template one more time and it says skirt front dart. So now, because the dart is aiming downward, take the template, put the tip of the dart on the dot that you made, line up the blue waist guideline on the template with the waist guideline on the master pattern, making sure that the center of the dart is right through the center. So that's that faint pencil line that you made. And then you're going to draw through to position your hip fitting dart on the front of the skirt. Now you just finish off the waist edge using the slightly curved line that's on the designing stylus to finish off this waist edge. And I need to do that on the bodice front as well. So again, it's just a slightly curved line there on both sides. Now what I'm going to do is show you the skirt lined up directly underneath the bodice. So let's take a look at that. I'll just remove the skirt from this pattern. I'm going to shift this down directly underneath this dart right here. Center fronts line up, the darts line up perfectly, and that's exactly what you want. Now, when you do this lining up, you will want to be doing it on your cutting mat or grain board where you've got all the distinctive lines so that you can make sure that center front stays totally lined up on one of those dominant lines. But there you have it, a very easy technique to make sure that you get your waist dart and your hip fitting dart totally 100% lined up so that they look the best on your body. Okay, so I'm going to invite you to join the Surefit Designs community. I know if you haven't already, it's going to be real easy for you. Just go over to surefitdesigns.com. There'll be a pop-up. Make sure you put in your name, your email address, and your country. Click the submit, and you'll be taken to the subscriptions gift page, and there's four free gifts to get you started. And if you do Facebook, please make sure you join our Facebook group. And while you're in YouTube watching, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a goal that we're trying to get as close to or over 100,000 subscribers. We have over 300 videos on fitting, designing, and sewing, all to help you be successful in your garment fitting. Thanks so much for watching.